Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. We are doing a repent slash repentance word study on the book of Mark. That's where we're at right now. We did Matthew for the New Testament. Now we're on Mark. We did the whole Old Testament already. You can go back and watch some of those. The whole point of these videos is that people are saying repentance is a work, and they're trying to take repentance out of the gospel and get people to accept another gospel. Uh, the book of Corinthians, they were trying to do that, and people are doing it today. So I was... It was on my heart to do a, a word study on the word repent slash repentance. So we're in Mark chapter 1 verse 4 if you want to turn there. Get your King James Bible, God's perfect written word. Follow along, make sure I'm telling you the truth and getting you, you're getting the right context. So Mark chapter 1 verse 4. John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea, and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. Okay. Remission of sins. What's remission mean? Forgiveness, pardon, that is the giving up of the punishment due to a crime as the remission of sins. Repentance for the remission of sins. Where is that definition of remission? It's talking about physical work. Okay. Matthew chapter 3, verse 8 that we talked about in last week's study, because it's just a retelling of the same story. Um, uh, John the Baptist is saying, bring forth therefore fruits, meet for repentance. Okay, Repentance here is to feel pain, sorrow, or regret for something done or spoken. What's going on here? Okay, The people have rebelled against God. They invited false gods in. Okay. They're living in wicked sin. They're not obeying the law, but mainly they're rejecting God as their king. I t we did a study and we talked about it in one of my videos where you go back when it came to Saul, um, the first, he wasn't the first king of Israel. I asked a question once to see if anybody knew this. I said, who's the first king of Israel? Uh, the Jewish nation. And a lot of people went to Saul. And I did too. But you go back and you look at that, and you realize that Jesus said, they didn't reject you, Samuel. They rejected me as their king. Who was the first king of the Jewish people of Israel? God was, and still is. So that's, the, that's what they're repenting of, sinning against God. Okay. And it, like I said, to bring forth fruits meet for repentance. The physical act happens afterwards. That's the fruit meet. Okay? For repentance but repentance happens in the heart they were coming they were being baptized they were confessing their sins they were turning back to God what was the belief and it doesn't say in this passage but Matthew the belief was that the kingdom of heaven is at hand I think it's also in Mark we just didn't go far enough the kingdom of heaven is at hand and that their Lord was coming their king was coming okay that's the belief okay repentance they confess their sins. They were being baptized and were confessing their sins. And then fruits meet for repentance. Fruit, that's the evidence of all of it, the fruit. And repentance is there. Okay, but for the context here, it's having sorrow in your heart. To feel pain, sorrow, or regret for something done or spoken. For sinning against God. Okay, what have they done? They've turned their back on God. And John the Baptist is preaching to turn them back. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord, capital L, Lord. Your Lord is coming. Mm -hmm. Prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight. Mm -hmm. So, um, go down to Mark 1.14. Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. The gospel of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. I always got to throw this in there. Is the gospel the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ? Is that the gospel this is talking about? No, it's talking about you have to believe that the kingdom of heaven is here. The kingdom of God is at hand. You got to repent and then believe that Jesus, their king, is physically here to rule and reign for a thousand years. That thousand years is the kingdom of heaven. Okay, the thousand year reign of Jesus Christ, their king. God was their first king, and he still is. He's the king of kings. Jesus is God, 
and he's the king of kings. Mm -hmm. So repent there is talking about to feel pain, sorrow, regret for something done or spoken. They rejected God as their king. They kept fornicating with false gods. They kept t turning their back and doing evil in the sight of the Lord. Mm -hmm. They needed to repent and turn back to God. Who was God? Jesus, who is God? Jesus Christ. He's right there in front of them. Okay? Repentance is not a work. Mark 2.17 When Jesus heard it, he saith unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Okay. Sinners to repentance. Uh, there was a story, I thought I'd put it on here, but I guess I forgot to copy and paste. Okay. But there's the story of the woman that had a blood problem, and she spent all her money on physicians and nobody can heal her. You want to talk about sorrow, she definitely had sorrow. But she touched the cloth of Jesus Christ and was healed. She knew she was sick and she needed a physician. Mm -hmm. This is talking about sinners. Mm -hmm. Sinners to repentance. You have to be a sinner to, in order to go to repentance. I did a study earlier. Sinners to repentance. In order to repent, you have to be a sinner. If you're worldly sorrow that you have to become self-righteous because you had worldly sorrow you're saying you're not a sinner you're not that bad of a person well then Jesus didn't come for you if you're a sinner and you can say yeah I'm a sinner you have a chance to repent you have it'll lead to repentance it can lead to repentance is a better way to say it what's repentance having sor godly sorrow for sinning against him Okay. Understanding you're going to hell and you deserve to go to hell. But sinners to repentance. You're a sinner. You're under the law of sin and death. You're on your way to hell. Okay. Jesus came to save those people, sinners. He didn't come to save the righteous. So we see that repentance is not a work. Okay. Mark chapter 6 verse 7. Mark chapter 6, verse 7. We're going to go all the way to 13. Mm -hmm. And he called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits, and commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only, no script, no bread, no money in their purse, but be shod with sandals, and not put on two coats. This is Jesus sending out the 12 uh, apostles saying go and go into the people and do what he was doing, preaching. And he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into a house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in that day of judgment than for that city. And they went out and they preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. Okay. Repent, to feel uh, pain, sorrow, or regret for something done or spoken. To have godly sorrow for sinning against him. Okay. That's where repent here. How do we know that? Because tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah. What was Sodom and, Sodom and Gomorrah? It's about sin. They were so sinful and wicked in God's eyes that he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. That's how bad it was. And if it's more tolerable for them than that city, they're going out and preaching repent. And these people are refusing to repent. Something that happens in the heart, he's saying dust the, uh, brush the dust off your feet and move on to the next city. Mm -hmm. Depart from that place. Okay. So, repent here is not a work. Okay. Men should repent. It's something that happens in the heart. So that's all the time repent, how many times repent slash repentance is mentioned. Let's see, one, two, three, four times in the book of Mark. So, repentance is not a work. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next word study video.